Hello students, good day. I hope that you are all doing well today. And this is teacher Ray, teacher Reynaldo, and I will be your teacher for this subject, mathematics. And for today's lesson, we are going to study about instruments for measuring and measuring the length in centimeters. Kindly repeat after teacher, instruments for measuring and measuring the length in centimeters. Good job. Okay, so before anything else, let's do our vocabulary. Don't forget to repeat after teacher. Number one, meter, meter, meter. Spell M E T E R M E T E R meter 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 good job number two height 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 spell H E I G H T H E I G H T height 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 very good number three long 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 spell L O N G L O N G Good job. Now let's proceed here. Okay, as you can see here we have that's what we call centimeters. Everybody say centimeters. Centimeters. Okay, as you can see here at the top of this this is what we call centimeters, okay? And the lower part, this is what we call inches. Inches, inches, okay? And here, we have example here, one meter, okay? And let's proceed here. Everybody say comparing length, comparing length, okay? As you can see here, we have scissors and toothbrush, okay? We are going to compare the length between these two things, scissors and toothbrush. As you can see here, the scissors is 11 centimeters and the toothbrush is nine centimeters. So which one here is long between these two things? Okay, what do you think? Yes, of course, the scissors. Since the scissors is 11 centimeters, okay? Next, comparing with, okay? So I have example here, the two lanes road and the six lanes road. In the first one, how many centimeters? Yes, of course, that is 600 centimeters. And how about the second one? There are six lanes road. Yes, of course, that's 1,800 centimeters. So which one here is wider? Yes, the six lanes road. Okay, here, let's proceed here, okay? Everybody say comparing height, comparing height. Okay, so as you can see, we have two trees here. And the first one is nine centimeter and the second one is seven centimeter. Now, which one here is um, higher or the tallest one? The nine centimeter or the seven centimeter? Yes, very good, that's the nine centimeter. Okay, here, 
This is very important on page 32. Everybody saying there are two ways to spell some words. Again, there are two ways to spell some words. Okay, example here, centimeter. And this one, you cannot read this like centimeter. Okay, even though uh, the spellings are not the same, but they have the same pronunciation. Centimeter, centimeter. And the same with the second one, meter, meter. You cannot say metri, okay? That's the same pronunciation, but different in spelling. Okay, don't forget that. And here next, okay, I'll repeat after teacher. The meter is the unit used for measuring length. Again, the meter is the unit used for measuring length. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. This is very important. Let's take a look on this. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. How many centimeters are there in one meter? Yes, of course, there are 100 centimeters. Very good. And next, the short way to write meter is what? M. Okay, again, the short way to write meter is M. Let's remember that one. Okay, next, let's learn some of the instruments for measuring things. Okay, can you read this one? Tape measure. Everybody say, tape measure. Tape measure. Okay, so this is the example of the tape measure. And the next one, wooden ruler. Wooden ruler. Okay, as you can see this, you can buy this in the school supply if you want to have this kind of measuring instruments, okay? You can see this on your book on page 32. Okay, next, one meter wooden roller. I have here a boy. And let's measure his height. Okay, so we will use, we will just use the wooden roller. Okay, as you can see here, at the neck of this boy is one meter. Okay. Next, measuring the length in centimeters, the short way to write centimeter is cm. Okay. Let's have a short recall. How, how do you write or the short way of meter? Yes, that's M. And how about centimeter? Yes, that's CM or CM. M for meter and CM for centimeter. Okay, example, this one, the pin or the clip. A clip is three centimeter long or a clip is three cm long, okay? And three centimeters or three cm. Next, the pencil. A pencil is seven cm long or seven centimeters or seven cm. Okay, that's the short way of writing centimeter. Don't forget that. Okay, let's do this example. Draw straight lines. Okay, how can you draw three cm long or centimeter long? Okay, so you have to draw like this. Okay, so that's an example only, three centimeter long. How about four centimeter long? Okay, so you have to draw a straight line like this. Okay, so that's four centimeter long or four cm long. Number three, two cm long. Okay, that's it. And number four, eight cm long. Okay, so that's eight cm long or centimeter long. Number five, 
7 cm long. Okay. So that's how you are going to draw a straight line by following the given like 3 cm long, 4 cm long, and 2 cm long, 8 cm long, and 7 cm long or centimeter. Okay, do you understand? Very good. Okay, next example. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. Again, look at the pictures and answer the questions. Okay, as you can see here, we have toothbrush, scissors, and comb and crayon. Okay, so how many things do we have here? There are four things toothbrush, scissors, comb, and crayon. Okay, okay, example number one. How long is the crayon? Actually, you have to make sure this one, huh? Look at the picture and answer the questions. Okay, so you have to make sure before you are going to write the measurements of these things. Okay, number one. How long is the crayon? How long is the crayon? Okay. Example, so the crayon is 6.8 centimeter. Okay, number two, how long is the scissors? How long is the scissors? The scissors is 10.5 centimeter. 10.5 centimeter. Number three, how long is the toothbrush? How long is the toothbrush? The toothbrush is 9.9 .9 centimeter, or you can round that off to 10 centimeter. Number four, which objects are of the same length? Which objects are the same length? Okay, what do you think? There is none, okay? Actually, there is none. Number five, which is the longest? And how long is it? Again, which is the longest? And how long is it? Again, which is the longest? And how long is it? Okay, the answer is scissors. And the scissors is 10.5 centimeter. Number six, which is the shortest and how long is it? Which is the shortest and how long is it? Okay, so the shortest, the crayon, and the crayon is 6.8 centimeter. Okay, next example, use a roller to measure and record the measurements on the table. Again, use a roller to measure and record the measurements on the table. Okay, so here, as you can see here, we have number one, the rope, number two, ribbon, number th three, the chain, number four, pencil, number five, the watch, and number six, the comb, and number seven is the necklace necklace okay so you have to measure all these things now let's try to measure number one the rope okay the rope is 9.9 .9 centimeter number two the ribbon is 12 centimeter and the chain is 8.9 centimeter and number four, the pencil is 7.8 centimeter. Number five, the watch, seven centimeter. And number six, comb, that's 8.8 .8 centimeter. Okay. And number seven, the necklace is the 12.9 centimeter. Okay, here, next example, item. Item, 
length length number one is rope and the number one is 10 centimeters and how about here this one the ribbon so you have to write its measurement here so you have to write the, the item and then write its measurement that's 12 centimeter okay number three that's the chain and the chain is 8.9 centimeters in number four that's the pencil and the pencil is 7.8 centimeters and number five that's the watch so the watch is seven centimeter and number six you have to write the comb that's the item and the comb is 8.8 .8 centimeters and number seven the necklace is the 12.9 centimeters okay so please remember that you have to write the item first or the name of the thing and then write its measurement okay item and the length okay now here let's do our activities in our activities you can find this on page 33, okay? Page 33 in your book. And please answer this exercise. Draw straight lines. We have number one, two, three, four, and five. And next exercise on page 34. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. Okay, so what will you do is you have to measure first the things and then write its measurement and answer these questions here. We have number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this one, use a roller to measure and record the measurements on the table. So we have number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is on page 35. And here, next exercise here, you have to write the item and the length. Example, the rope, and the rope is 10 centimeter or 10 cm. And thank you. And don't forget to send your answers to our line so that we teachers can check it properly. Bye-bye.